Good morning, in this video I stranded here on Tenerife, I'm here since around three days now. I was just working on all the time, I was so busy, so today I decided to film this beautiful sunrise at the abandoned hotel here. You can see that behind me, it looks so good and what I like is that the sun comes a bit through the, through the apartments or the apartments that are not existing. So in the next few weeks I will explore Tenerife a bit and I want to go to the national park but actually drone flying here is pretty restricted. You can get fees up to 6,000 euros when you fly in the national park and stuff. It's cheap and easy to use the bus on Tenerife, but to go to the real good places it's much more convenient to have a car. So after one boring week I decided to rent one and it just cost me 280 euros for one month. My first trip brought me to a whale and dolphin watching tour and I had much luck on this day because it was one of the days where we were actually able to see dolphins. So we just arrived on the boat, we'll see some whales or maybe dolphins today. I actually wanted to do that in Iceland um, at the beginning of the year, so I'm pretty excited for that. We were very close to the whales that were actually swimming right in front of our boat, that was amazing. And it's so important when, when you have something like that to use a polarizer filter on every camera you have because you can get the reflections out of the water. So with the drone I was able to see deep in, in the water to see the whole body of the whales. And also like with a normal camera you can uh, take some reflection out of it so, so you see a bit more but it wasn't perfect because I had to film uh, against the sun a lot and polarizers doesn't work when you film against the sun. So I was just flying the drone right off the boat and the first time while the boat was moving I never did that before and it was quite scary because I put in 300 meter of maximal distance, flight distance and the drone measures its distance from the home point so um, after 300 meters moving with the boat suddenly the drone was standing in the air and didn't move anymore but the, the boat was still moving. A few days later I went for a trip to Maska, which is a small village between mountains and looks pretty nice. But I actually went a bit farther to Los Carrizales where I was allowed to fly my drone.
half of the leg of a goat. <laughs> so we're back right now at the pier. It was a nice trip and I must actually uh, say a big thanks to the company. It's uh, Sequest FF. Um, I will put a link to them in the description of the video. And what I liked here is that they were actually letting me fly my drone. I mean, it's much more restricted in Europe and it was actually not that easy to fly a drone from that boat because there were lines everywhere and stuff. So it was a bit dangerous, but they still let, let me do that. So big thanks here, that's absolutely cool. And yeah, see you in the next part. <laughs>